An enemy submarine, hidden deep below, sets its course towards the aircraft carrier. In an instant, torpedoes are in the water, alarms sound, and chaos erupts. How can the U.S. Navy counter these invisible threats at sea? Before we dive into how it's important to understand what these threats really are, here's the deal. Out in the ocean, it's rather easy for threats to go unnoticed, making them virtually invisible, especially deep in the hidden chessboard that stretches beneath the water. For this reason, the most dominant invisible threat comes from modern submarines, often called the kings of stealth. Why are these underwater vessels so feared, though? The answer lies in their advanced engineering. Today, submarines are quieter than ever with propulsion systems that leave virtually no acoustic signature. A submarine lurking in the depths is less like a ship and more like a natural current, moving unseen, unheard, and unknown. The danger posed by these quiet predators is not mere speculation. For example, in the post-Cold War era, during an exercise in the North Atlantic, an Allied submarine managed to slip through an entire carrier group's defense surfacing within the protective screen undetected. A mock attack, but a chilling demonstration of capability. And when it comes to their offensive might, these invisible threats pack a serious punch. Submarines can launch a range of weapons from their shadowy depths. Torpedoes with advanced guidance systems capable of seeking out the hull of a carrier, mines that can lurk unseen for years before detonating, and missiles that can soar from below the waves to strike targets far beyond the horizon. The stats back up their lethality. Modern heavyweight torpedoes can exert enough pressure to snap a ship's keel, effectively breaking its back. Meanwhile, a well-placed mine can render a naval base inoperative. And let's not forget their missiles, some of which can travel hundreds of miles and deliver payloads that can level city blocks. These undersea threats are more than just weapons. They are strategic tools. They can block sea lanes, isolate regions, and act as deterrents to surface fleets, all while holding the element of surprise firmly in their grasp. The thought alone is enough to keep even the most seasoned naval strategists up at night. But this is where we encounter another invisible threat, though not a silent, stealth aircraft. They're like the ultimate game of hide-and-seek in the sky. These planes are super sneaky. They're built to slip past radars and not get caught, almost as though they have this invisibility cloak on, making it tough for the bad guys to detect them. Just imagine trying to spot something that is super good at hiding and doesn't want to be detected. This is exactly what these stealth planes are like. They can mess with the enemy radars too, sending out signals that confuse them. It's worth noting that these planes aren't just about being quiet and invisible, they hit hard too, coming loaded with bombs and missiles that can be dropped without anyone seeing them coming. There's nothing worse than getting hit by a missile without even a clue what's about to happen. In fact, there have been times when these stealth planes made a huge difference. Like in some fights not too long ago, where stealth planes flew right through the enemy defense and hit important spots without any warning. And just a few years back, these planes were a big deal in taking out some major targets over the Middle East, hitting exactly what they needed to and then vanishing into thin air. It's lethal magic. These planes are so good at their job that even the thought of them flying around can make enemies really nervous. It's like playing tag where the it can turn invisible. You'd be pretty worried, right? This means the other side has to spend a lot of money and effort just trying to catch these invisible planes, and even then, there's no guarantee they'll succeed. Then there's the sneaky threat that doesn't fly or swim, it just waits. Sea mines are like hidden traps in the ocean. As they're not big, finding them becomes extremely tricky. Let me explain. The thing is, these mines can be sneaked into the water without anyone noticing. They wait silently for a ship to pass by, then boom. The scariest part is how easily these mines can be put out there, almost like scattering marbles in the dark. You might not see them, but step on one and you'll know it's there. And with sea mines, the stakes are much higher. These little underwater bombs can do a lot of damage. 
They can blow holes in the sides of huge ships and create big problems for countries trying to use the ocean to move stuff around. Not too long ago, these mines would be quite a hassle during wars and conflicts, damaging sea vessels and making some parts of the sea too difficult to pass through. But the good news is, there's a bunch of smart technology and brave divers out there who are working to find and get rid of sea mines before they can cause trouble. Alright, let's shift gears and talk about a threat that comes from super far, but comes fast and hits hard, anti-ship missiles. These missiles are like the ultimate sneak attack weapon. They're fired from so far away, they're beyond the horizon, way past where radar usually sees. It's like having a slingshot that can launch a rock from one end of town to the other without anyone noticing the person shooting it. These missiles don't just fly far, they fly smart. They stay low, hugging the waves, which makes them super hard to spot. Flying super close to the water quite literally puts them under the radar. Some of these missiles can travel at speeds of more than 500 miles per hour, so by the time the target detects them, there isn't much time left to react. As you can imagine, these missiles can have massive impacts. Having the ability to carry large warheads can cause extensive damage to even the bigger ships. Just a single hit and the vessel loses its ability to retaliate. Before we discuss the US Navy's capabilities in detecting and defeating these threats, we'd love to have you join our channel as a member. This will not only help us continue bringing you the best videos on the US Navy, but also serve as a tribute to all the veterans who tune in to our videos. Simply click the link in the description or go to our homepage and select Join. US Navy Capabilities Even though these invisible threats are truly dangerous and threatening, the US Navy, arguably the world's most capable, is able to detect them rather easily, making it seem like a piece of cake. It's not to be understated that the US Navy is a force with some of the most high-tech gadgets out there, always on the lookout for hidden dangers. With sonar that can listen for the quietest whisper of a submarine and radars that can spot sneaky missiles, they're experts at detecting threats that try to stay invisible. The US Navy's capabilities to root out these invisible threats specifically hinges on some truly impressive hardware. At the very core is the advanced AN Spy 6 naval radar, a generational leap towards the possibilities of maritime dominance. Let's zoom in on the tech specs for a moment. This radar has electronic scanning abilities so sharp it can spot the stealthiest of stealth tech, painting a clear picture of the battlefield, even when the targets are doing their best to blur it. And the power of the ANSPY-6 is such that Raytheon, a major US defense contractor and manufacturer in weapons and military electronics, secured a hefty $619 million contract to outfit 29 new ships with this system, starting with integrating it into existing vessels. This radar sees further, reveals more, and distinguishes threats with such accuracy that it's like having a hawk's vision in the vastness of the ocean. Speaking of hawks, adding to this advancement is the E2D Hawkeye, which is an Airborne Early Warning Control, or AEW&C, aircraft, taking radar coverage to a whole new level. It extends beyond sea-based sensors, providing a view of the threats that may lie beyond the horizon. Altogether, these systems amplify the US Navy's reach. The SPY-6 radar containing its radar modular assemblies is a one-size solution to cater to different ship sizes and mission objectives. And with that, submarines don't stand a chance of staying invisible for long. It's a blend of smarts and tech that makes sure the only thing murky in the ocean is the water itself. Everything else is crystal clear to the US Navy. And it doesn't end there. The US Navy's got a digital spider web stretching across the sea and sky, where ships, subs, planes, and satellites whisper secrets to each other, painting a full picture of the maritime world. This network weaves together all their data, creating a shared canvas of awareness, so no threat goes unseen or unchallenged. In other words, the US Navy has essentially created its own exclusive club of informants. Every ship, submarine, aircraft, and satellite is like a member, constantly swapping critical targeting data. This isn't just a casual exchange, it's a sophisticated, real-time conversation 
that puts together a comprehensive block of maritime domain awareness. With this system, the US Navy ensures that if one member spots trouble, the whole network lights up, turning individual whispers of information into a thunderous chorus of vigilance. But to your surprise, this mastery of the maritime domain is about to leap forward with the introduction of the Network Tactical Common Data Link, or NTCDL systems. This $42.6 million investment into BAE Systems Advanced Communication Technology will intertwine ships, subs, planes, and even unmanned platforms into a single pulsating network. Imagine the entire naval force, from the towering aircraft carriers to the nimble Constellation class frigates, exchanging intelligence as effortlessly as whispers, enhancing their situational awareness and tactical agility across the vast ocean theater. Here's an interesting question that we'd like you to answer in the comments below. Do you think other navies have some invisible and stealthy threats in store that the world doesn't know about? Would such threats fool the US Navy? Defeating Stealthy Attacks Now let's say merely detecting these invisible threats doesn't do the job. How does the US Navy defeat enemies that have essentially initiated their stealth attacks? When a US Navy ship patrols the waters, it's not just cruising along the waves. It's prepared for a high-stakes game of interception. Picture this. A missile zooms toward the ship, and within seconds, the Navy's own missiles like the SM-6 and the Sea Sparrow are launched. They race towards the incoming threat, striking it down before it can do any harm. But it's important to mention that it is very much possible for the enemy missile to slip through to outer defenses sometimes. And this is exactly where the Phalanx close-in weapon system comes in. It's the last line of defense, automatically locking onto and shredding incoming threats with a hail of bullets. It's like an automated guard dog that can detect and take out a flying intruder with pinpoint accuracy. Recently, this defense was on display for all when the USS Kearney near Yemen's coast managed to shoot down projectiles and drones launched by Houthi militants. The USS Kearney acted swiftly, ensuring the safety of the crew and preventing potential threats from reaching any further targets. With these advanced interception systems, the Navy not only stands guard over the seas, but also projects a shield around its vessel, making the complex waters of conflict zones a little safer for navigation and peace. Furthermore, let's talk about the US Navy's stealth aircraft because they're a big deal. The F-35 stands as the Navy's ghost in the skies, a stealth fighter crafted to slip past enemy radars and strike with precision. This carrier-born warrior is the maritime variant of the F-35 Triumvirate, honed for the unique demands of sea-based operations. It's built to literally dance between raindrops, hitting hard while eluding the grasping fingers of radar waves. The F-35C's responsibility is to house enough firepower to lock down targets, all while keeping a very low profile. It's like defeating stealth with stealth. To enhance its deadly game, the F-35C is not alone. Soaring above the E-2D acts as the fleet's eyes, vectoring stealth fighters toward unsuspecting targets. It's a high-stakes game played in the vertical plane above the ocean, with the E-2D directing its fellow aircraft with the precision of a grandmaster. Meanwhile, the Air Force's recent move to arm the F-35 with Northrop Grumman's new stand-in attack weapon, or SIAW, underscores the military's commitment to maintaining its edge. The SEA is a powerful chess piece, an air-to-surface missile tailored for an era where threats are as mobile as they are lethal. This new weapon further expands the F-35's reach, ensuring the neutralization of threats that would have been typically slipping away. Since we're on the topic of aircraft, the US Navy's MH-60R helicopters are like underwater hunters, dispatching sauna boys that float down through the ocean's layers, listening for the quiet hum of enemy subs. Once they find their target, these helicopters can send torpedoes into the depths to neutralize the threat, ensuring the seas stay under friendly control. Complementing this, the P-8A Poseidon aircraft takes the hunt to larger expanses of the ocean. They soar above the waves, also dropping sauna boys, but in patterns this time to set up a vast acoustic net that can detect even the most elusive of submarines. When necessary, they can also lay mines, 
creating underwater barriers no unseen enemy can silently cross, keeping strategic areas locked down and secure. Under the same arm as the P-8A Poseidon's watchful presence over the sea, the MH-53E Sea Dragon helicopters specialize in a different kind of ocean mastery, mine clearing. These airborne behemoths sweep the seas with powerful detectors, sniffing out mines that lurk in the deep ensuring safe passage for the vessels through potentially hazardous waters. On the cutting edge, the U.S. Navy deploys unmanned vessels that can venture into risky areas for remote mine hunting. These robotic warriors can prowl the depths, untethered by human risk, to seek and disarm underwater mines. This pairing of manned and unmanned systems creates a layered defense and clearing strategy that keeps the sea lanes free, complementing the offensive capabilities of the Poseidon aircraft and maintaining an unbroken shield over and beneath the waves. New Threats and Future Developments Facing new threats that evolve as quickly as the technology itself, the U.S. Navy is already eyeing futuristic developments such as AI-driven autonomous systems and cyber warfare tools to fortify the shield and ensure supremacy in the maritime domain. For instance, as the Navy concludes its study of railgun technology, they are not simply moving on. Rather, they are applying the knowledge and skills they have acquired to strengthen their existing armaments, but utilizing all the innovative techniques they develop to enhance the speed and handling of their standard models. Up above, the Navy's hooking up satellites, drones, and AI to one big network. It's like having a sky full of lookouts that talk to each other and to ships and subs so they can see the whole picture and make smart moves quick. But as the United States continues to modernize and advance, China seems to be focusing on a different type of technological development, specifically with their railgun. It remains uncertain whether China will continue on this path or shift its focus as the US has. Whatever decision China makes has the potential to cause significant changes. For the US, it's like observing a neighbor who has been constructing a rocket in their backyard. It begs the question. Do you think that quick advancements in technology and especially AI will change the way modern warfare works? Do you have any examples of how AI in particular has changed how war will begin and end? If you enjoyed this video, we kindly ask you to show your support by giving it a like and subscribing to our channel. Your support means a lot to us and motivates us to continue creating entertaining and educational content on the US Navy and other maritime topics. Don't forget to click the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload a new video. Thanks for your support. We look forward to bringing you more exciting content in the future. I'll see you in the next one.